our loving Father, God Almighty, attests Pastor Dill's ministry with immediate signs, wonders, miracles, and healings as great multitudes throng to Jesus, praising Him, thanking Him, and loving Him, our Lord and Savior. Jesus loves you, Jesus loves you, Jesus loves you. Your Father will never get tired of loving you, no matter where we are. No matter how we are, He still loves us. He still loves us because of His Son, Jesus. For all what Jesus did, His perfect obedience, the only begotten Son of God, perfectly obeyed, righteously obeyed, humbly obeyed the Father. And that's why we are all saved and we will live. Jesus is risen, ascended to the right hand of God the Father and sits there as Lord of Lords, King of Kings, our God, our Savior, at the right hand of God the Father. And even today, he is interceding for us to save us to the utmost. I humble myself along with my dear precious wife Suhanti and our one and only daughter Divina. We come to you in the love of Jesus. No matter who you are, no matter where you are, we come to you, King's Revival Church International UAE. In all humility, I come to the cross. The message is Jesus. The word is Jesus. He takes Holy Spirit, he takes the word from Jesus. Holy Spirit meets me at the cross, washes me whiter than snow by the blood of Jesus and takes the word from Jesus and gives to me to give to all of us. No matter where we are, Jesus loves you, loves you, loves you. Your Father in heaven loves you. He is your Father. 
and I come to you. Nothing I have but the great Holy Spirit in me with the word of Jesus. Nothing in my hands I bring Simply to the cross I cling Naked come to the fortress Helpless look to thee for grace Rock of ages cleft for me let me hide myself in thee. His love is for all. He loves you. He loves you. My loving great children. And 2,000 years ago, when the great Holy Spirit, who raised Jesus from the dead, and Jesus ascended to the Father, and sent the Holy Spirit. That's why in Luke 24, verse 49, Jesus says, Wait in Jerusalem until you receive the power from my Father, the Holy Spirit. And Jesus said in Acts 1, verse 8, When you receive the Holy Spirit, you will receive power, and you will be my witness in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria and to the uttermost parts of the world. Witness means the one who represents like Jesus. So when the Holy Spirit fills us every time, he only makes us become like Jesus, transforms us, recreates us to become like Jesus. So holy and humble and honest in every way like Jesus. We have to be the witness. A witness is not just talking and saying something. It's more than that. Witness is to be like Jesus in life and in ministry. So, beloved, that's what the great Holy Spirit wants me, you and everyone. In your workplace, in your house, wherever you go. Our humility, servants of God, my great sons, pastors, Apostles, prophets, evangelists, teachers, all of us, we must be like Jesus. We must resemble Jesus. We must reflect, resemble Jesus and represent Jesus, the true Jesus, the true Jesus of the Bible, true representation. That's why the Holy Spirit comes. He doesn't come to just to give a make a big noise and hype and excitement. All that fades away very quickly. No one talks about it after some time. But the true representation of Jesus endures forever. That's what we must all endeavor to be and become the true bride of Jesus. He loves you, loves you, loves you. He is there for, the, for those who are in tears and pain. He rose from the dead and he spoke the first word. Woman, why are you weeping? He's telling every one of you, man, woman, daughter, son, child, adult, everyone, why are you worried? Why are you troubled? Do not fear is his word all the time. What you hear will cause you to fear in the news, with people, everywhere. But what you hear from the Bible, what you hear from the word of the living God, from the Holy Spirit, will make you immediately cheer up and have an inner confidence, inner confidence and strength that is faith, faith that Jesus gives us. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Romans 8, 17. So today, if you are worried and heavy laden, all your worry and burdens will go away. Come to Jesus. Rest in Jesus. He loves you, loves you, loves you. You will have faith and this faith will give you and me and all of us victory, victory, victory. First John, fifth chapter, verse four. There were two disciples soon after Jesus ascended to heaven. Acts of the Apostles, third chapter. Peter and John, at the time of prayer, they went to church. 
They went to church and they were mightily filled by the Holy Spirit. And already miracles and signs and wonders Holy Spirit was doing through Peter and John. They were filled mightily by the Holy Spirit. But when, and they were gathering and praying and praising and praising and praising the Lord. And then the time of church time came. They all went to church. See, Jesus never missed a service. My loving children, he was at the synagogue. Uh, and there now see his great disciples, apostles, Peter, John. There immediately they stopped whatever they were doing and went to the church. See, that's an example for all of us. So, my dear children, then, while going there to the church, outside there was a man who was lame. He couldn't walk. He was lame from his mother's womb. What a life! From his childhood, from his birth, he was lame. He couldn't walk. His bones, his ankles, his nerves were all withered probably wasted. He couldn't walk, he couldn't stand, he couldn't work. So what was his life? People carry him and keep him outside the church and some people give alms, money and some help to him. So he's outside and where was he? A gate called beautiful. That's outside. My loving children. My beloved dear ones, this Holy Spirit gives us a great insight. You may be outside, you may be outcast, you may be forsaken, forgotten. You may be the one going through various hardships, physically, mentally, emotionally. But the Lord says, He sees you beautiful. He sees you beautiful and this man was at the gate called beautiful. This man was just outside. My hand, that gate is called beautiful. Something beautiful happens there. It's going to happen in your life. Something beautiful in your personal life. You may say, I am weak, I am heavy laden. I don't have money, I don't have a future. Oh, you may be waiting, waiting for an answer from a miracle from the Lord. You may say, my life is ugly, no blessing, no money, no silver, gold, this, that. Oh, just leave aside all that. Jesus is going to give you the peace and the joy and whatever blessing needed today. Your life will be made beautiful inside, inside and outside, everywhere. While it's Jesus, he loves you. He has sent his Holy Spirit there now. Everything is going to be made beautiful. He loves you, he loves you, he loves you. And this man was at the mercy of others. Someone will give him a few coins here and there. Someone will give him a little food. Just at the entrance of the church, he was seated there. He was not inside, he was outside. My loving children, my great children, every day passed like this. But one day he is meeting Two great apostles, Peter and John, who resembled Jesus, who represented truly, truly Jesus of Nazareth. This man didn't know, this man didn't know. Peter and John were going to church. And beloved ones, as usual, he saw Peter and John at the gate and he was stretching his arms probably, asking for help, asking for money or food. And Peter, fastening his eyes upon him, said, look at us. This is very important for me, for you, for all. Look at us. My loving children, we must be able to tell the world, look at us. Of course, everyone needs to look at Jesus and exalt Jesus and praise Jesus and give him the gratitude and the glory. But Jesus expects us, we are the light of the world, Jesus said, you are the light of the world. You are the salt of the world. We must not be hearers of the word. We must be doers of the word. People are going to see us and then remember Jesus. People are going to watch us and then praise Jesus. It's through you God works. Your Father works through you. 
my loving children, Jesus, our Savior, our Lord, our God, works through you, me, all of us. So we, it's, it's, Holy Spirit is given for that. That's why he comes to live in us and with us. So, beloved, in, a, in our office, in our workplace, in a, your family, in your ministry, we must be true examples of the true representation of Jesus. True examples of the Jesus of the Bible, not the Jesus that anyone else portrays, but the Jesus of the Bible. Yes, God says, I change not, Malachi 3, 6. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. He is love, he is compassion, he is rich in mercy, he is mercy. He is life, he is power, beloved ones. He is everything needed for us on this earth until rapture and heaven forever. Oh, dear ones. We, you may have going through, you may be going through difficult situations, but today let your prayer be, Lord, I want to resemble you. I want to truly, truly represent you, Jesus, so that anyone who looks at me will be remembered of you, will be reminded of you, Jesus. It's not silver and gold and money and show and this and that in life or in ministry, no. All that is fading away. The true representation of Jesus alone is needed now until rapture and eternal. True bride, true child. My beloved, people may not know you even. People may not even recognize you. People may not even forget you. People may ridicule you. Oh, just rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. He is with you, Jesus. He and those who looked down upon you will one day look up to you. Jesus is the lifter of your head. Jesus is the lifter of your life. Psalm 3 verse 3. He loves you, loves you, loves you. Today, as you listen to this word, as you listen to this word, tell Jesus, Lord, make me like you. Holy Spirit, transform me like Jesus. Recreate me like Jesus. Oh, today, as you listen to this word, you tell the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, come and recreate me, transform me to be like Jesus anywhere and everywhere. He loves you, loves you, loves you. With that, all your problems will be over. With that, all your tears will be over. With that, all your disease, sickness, fear, or everything will be over. No more sin, no more sin. All your sins are washed away. Oh, no more death, no more curse. All are destroyed and defeated. Rejoice, rejoice, he loves you. Simple prayer, powerful prayer. Lord, make me like you. Holy Spirit, transform me, recreate me like Jesus. That's what Peter said. Look at us. Don't be attracted by the world. Don't be attracted by anything of the world. Even don't be attracted by any ministry and any ministry. God bless them. God bless them. But Jesus is looking for the true bride, true bride. That's why my loving children, oh, we just rejoice for who Jesus is in our lives. My dear children, my blessed children, that's the common, common uh, verdict or the common testimony I hear in UK when I minister in many churches, many churches here. My loving children, people come and say, true representation of Jesus, true representation of Jesus. That is what is needed. Oh, it has to be better and better, more like Jesus until rapture and eternal. Oh, beloved ones, every one of you, you are precious, you are precious. Your life and your home, your ministry and what you do will be beautiful because Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. And Peter fastened his eyes on him and said, look on us. And he immediately concentrated on Peter and John. Ex expecting to receive something, expecting to receive, yes, when you look at the true representation of Jesus, who lift Jesus and exalt Jesus and give all the glory to Jesus, yes, that is the ministry, that kind of ministry, who lift Jesus, exalt Jesus, give him the glory and the honor, oh, beloved, who don't attract people to money or show or this or that, oh, it's all waste of time. 
but those who give the glory to Jesus in all humility and love and purity. Oh, beloved ones, the power of the Holy Spirit. Purity is power. Purity is peace. Oh, receive it, receive it, receive it. Let the blood of Jesus cleanse us, cleanse us even now. He loves you, loves you, loves you. No condemnation, no condemnation, no judgment, no death, no curse, no works of sin. Purity is power. Purity is peace. He loves you. This man just concentrated on Peter and John and fixed his eyes on him fixed his heart on what they are preaching, what they are saying, what they are doing. My loving children, we must be an example to others. True example of Jesus. True example of Jesus. And beloved, Peter said, silver and gold have I none. See, silver and gold have I none. But in the name, what I have, I will give you. That's important. What I have, what do we have? We must have Jesus Christ's nature and his life and his power and his love and his mercy in us to give to others, to impart to others, to impart to those who are in tears, in pain, in agony. In your office, my loving children, in your workplace, in your wherever you are, you must be people who are able not just stand and preach and say this and that. That's good, that's important, that's important. But our preaching must be with, like our life. Our life must preach. With our lifestyle, with our lifestyle, we must preach the gospel. That's power. That's power. You may be a quiet person, humble person. You, my loving children, my beloved ones. Recently, uh, after I minister, after I completed a ministry, one dear servant of God was coming and talking to me. And I, I sensed, you know, there was... He need to hear something. I, the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit made me to comfort him, strengthen him. I told him, it's not, it's not necessary that we should be on television and uh, stand before multitudes of people. That's important, important. That's needed to take the gospel and the love of Jesus and his power everywhere. But more than that, I said, if you can make one person praise Jesus because of you, because of you, if one person can thank Jesus and praise Jesus wherever you may be, on the road, in your office, in your workplace, in your ministry, at least one person praising Jesus, honoring and glorifying Jesus because of you and what you do or what you say, you have done a great ministry, I said. You are doing a great ministry. Tears, tears of joy, tears of encouragement was in his eyes. You may be anyone doing any work. You must work, you must work. But in whatever you do, let people see Jesus through you. He loves you, loves you, loves you. Peter and John said, look at us. That should be our prayer, to be a true example of Jesus. My loving children, my great children, he loves you, loves you, loves you. And... His GP, John Peter said, silver and gold have we none. We don't have all that. But what we have, we give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And he took him by the hand and lifted him up. And immediately his feet, his bones, his ankles, all became strong and straight. He stood up, he jumped, he walked, he praised. The Bible says he praised and praised, was leaping and praising God the Father and the Lord Jesus, oh beloved. And he went into the temple, hallelujah. He knew who has done it. Jesus has done it through Peter and John. Jesus has done it, Holy Spirit's power. Holy Spirit himself has done it. The Spirit of Jesus, oh hallelujah, through Peter and John. Peter said, silver and gold have I none, but what I have I will give you. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Today, Holy Spirit is lifting you physically, mentally, emotionally, financially, in your family, everywhere, in your ministry, everywhere. Lift your hands and receive, lift your hands and receive. All your tears are over. A new faith, a new hope, a new joy in Christ Jesus. Yes, don't look here, there, everywhere and be seen in every place, in every ministry. God bless them. 
my loving children, God bless them. But true bride, true representation of Jesus is what we need. He loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you. That's what I must pray. You must pray. We must ask the Holy Spirit, make me a true representation of Jesus in my family, in my home, in my neighborhood, with my friends, in my workplace, in my ministry, everywhere. Hallelujah. He loves you, loves you, loves you. He loves you. He comes to you. You may be feeling lonely, left alone. He's there for you. He's lifting you, lifting you, lifting you. He loves you. He's embracing you like a father, true father, Abba, father, Abba, father. He loves you. Yes. Oh, you are going to leap and praise and dance and go to church and rejoice and rejoice. Yes, he jumped and went into the church. People were amazed. This is the man who was on the road, on the ground, and people used to drop some coins on him. Today he's leaping, jumping, praising God inside the church. Now he can work, now he can do everything and tell everyone, Jesus has done it for me. Oh, beloved ones, what a joy. Just in few minutes, what a joy, what a healing, what a peace. So, beloved ones, we, we who say we are Christians, we must be people like that. Dear ones, people, that's why I humbly urge you, today, today, he's going to restore everything back to you. You are going to rejoice in the house of the Lord with peace and joy. Your old days of sorrow and sickness and fear is over. Peter said, in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And he stretched his hand and helped him, lifted him. Yes, he loves you. Jesus is healing you and lifting you. Maybe your sorrows, maybe oh, odd dreams and fears. If you go here, there, everywhere, all kinds of things you will hear. Why? Just look at Peter and John, true disciples, true apostles. That's what you must be as you are hearing this now. Yes, my beloved, he loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you. Yes, all your pain is over. Yes, all, that's why Peter said, look at us. That's why in all humility we say, my loving children, he loves you, he loves you, he loves you. And this is a, a testimony I will read just for you to rejoice. This child writes, never in my life I have had such a pain in my stomach, this child writes, and the same time, vomiting, vomiting, never this child has gone through, it's coming from central India, central India, and I really wanted to go to the hospital, but I was scared due to various situations, but somehow I managed to watch your television program, Miracle Moments, Miracle Moments with Pastor Dill, and as I was watching, you said to place your hand on the affected areas. So I just did exactly what you said, believing, believing, believing. I will be healed. Not just saying, oh Lord, let your will be done. Oh, let it anything happen. No, you must believe. You must know he loves you. You must know he lives. You must know he is true. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. He loves you, loves you, loves you. Whatever the defeated devil had intended, the Lord will turn it for our good. Genesis 50, 20. All things will work well for those who love the Lord. Romans 8, 28. If you love him, believe him. Just believe. What do you lose? What do you lose? My loving children, loving children. He loves you, loves you, loves you. Loves you, loves you, loves you. He is here today by your side, the great Holy Spirit, Spirit of the Lord Jesus, and Jesus himself, he comes. He's there for you. He loves you, loves you. Believe, believe, believe. It's not that you have to physically see him. Sometimes you may, I don't know. But just say, Lord, I believe. He told Thomas, Thomas, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those, blessed are those who have not seen, but still believed. John 20, verse 29. Just believe like a little child. Believe like a little child. What do you lose? What do you lose? You are going to gain. You are going to gain. All of us, he loves you. As he put the hand there at the stomach, acute pain, unbearable pain in the stomach and vomiting. To her surprise, she says, and to my surprise, the pain left like the wink of an eye. 
the pain left like the wink of an eye. So fast it left, and I am healed, I am healed. Thank you, Jesus. All the thanks to Jesus, all the praises to Jesus, all the glory to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, forever. Oh, he loves you, loves you, love. Why we do we read this? So that you will be encouraged and believe in the Holy Spirit. Believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. Believe in Jesus who died and rose from the dead. His blood, his blood, his blood draws the Holy Spirit into our lives, into our services. That's why our church, our services are full of all that. My, in all humility, nothing that I am. I, I take care praying for you all, remembering you all, praying for you, overseeing the ministries in Dubai, Abu Dhabi and the other Emirates. Oh, dear ones and anywhere, my loving children, he loves you, loves you. And here it's increasing more. My dear children, he loves you, loves you, loves you. Dear children, so remember, Peter and John were in the church. Yes, and see how the Lord used them. And see, they brought a man who was thrown outside, lame man, into the church. Not by just talking, not by just doing something. The power of Jesus, the power of his love, his love, his mercy, his compassion. Jesus of Nazareth is the same. You're going to leap and praise the Lord in the house of the Lord. It's happening. My loving children, he loves you, loves you. And Peter says, not silver and gold. But the name of Jesus, the love of Jesus, the power of the resurrected Jesus who shed his blood, died and rose and ascended to the Father, defeated and destroyed Satan, death, hell, curse and all works of sin and Satan. What a joy for us. We are his. We belong to him. Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. Don't doubt, don't doubt, don't doubt. Every work of the defeated enemy will pass away today, today. He loves you. He is strengthening you physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. The Holy Spirit is coming right into you now. Just tell him, Holy Spirit, come change me like Jesus. Transform me like Jesus. That's your prayer. That's your prayer. Oh, my beloved, you may be anyone. He loves you, loves you, loves you. His blood will wash us all. He loves you. My dearest children, he loves you. And there's another testimony I, I'll, I'll tell you. This dear girl, this is to encourage you. This, you know, this ministry of ours has countless, countless testimonies, my loving children. So it's all in the magazines. It's going on TV uh, programs. We are slowly now building up our TV programs, uh, my loving children. And there, this happened in uh, UK a couple of weeks ago, I believe. I don't know. Yes, uh, this dear sister was hospitalized as she was suffering from pains in the shoulder and she couldn't even hold a spoon in her hand. So weak bones, similar bones had been so weak and fragile. She had been hospitalized and terrible pains in the shoulder, in the joints, in the bones, couldn't even hold a spoon in her hand. She was in one of our Miracle Life Healing Services she was totally healed, totally healed, fully healed and was able to help others lifting the chairs and arranging or the rearranging. She was doing a lot of things, immediately healed in the church, immediately healed in the house of the Lord by the power of the Holy Spirit, power of the Holy Spirit. Here, my loving children, here, it just happened very recently in UK in one of our services. So many healings, miracles happen. It's increasing. It's becoming better and better and greater and greater works until rapture. True representation of Jesus. He loves you, loves you, loves you. Dear children, he will take away all your pains and agony anywhere. Only look at the true, true representation of Jesus. He loves you. He loves you. At this moment, my loving children, all that I'm going to do is we are going to Wait for two minutes, two minutes we are going to wait and we are going to ask the great Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the Father and the Son to come and fill us, me, you all and one prayer. We need you Jesus, we need you Holy Spirit, transform us, recreate us, our spirit, our soul to be like Jesus so that purity in body, purity in mind, purity everywhere, purity is power. 
Purity is peace. He loves you, loves you, loves you. No matter who you are, we belong to Jesus. Anyone, anyone, Jesus loves you. So two minutes I give to you as we listen to this wonderful anointed song of our one and only daughter, Divina. I need thee, myself, you, all of us. We will ask the Holy Spirit. We need you, Holy Spirit. We need you, Jesus. Come. Come, Lord, fill us, fill us, fill us, fill my inside, inside and outside. Two minutes, we will all wait and ask him. He will, he will do it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Holy Spirit is doing it for you. Holy Spirit loves you. Jesus loves you. Your heavenly Father loves you. Abba, Father, Abba, Father, mighty God, almighty God. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. Yes, I'm going to pray now. I'm going to intercede on your behalf. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, I humbly come. In Jesus' name, the blood of Jesus washes me. Holy Spirit, wash me with the blood of Jesus, whiter than snow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you in your name. Yes, in your name, I ask so that you will do it, Jesus, and the Father will be glorified. John 14, 13, John 14, 14. If you shall ask anything in my name, Jesus said, I will do it for you. John 16, 23. Verily, verily, Jesus said, Jesus said, verily, verily, I say unto you, on that day, on that day, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will do it for you. Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus, only begotten Son, Jesus, we come to you, our Savior, our Lord, our God, who came in flesh and saved us by his blood, by his blood and his resurrection. He is risen. Thank you, Father. Thank you. In the name of Jesus, every dirty, defeated fear, go away, go away. In the name of Jesus, risen, every dirty, defeated body pains, body pains, go away. In the name of Jesus, risen Savior, every dirty, defeated skin ailments, go away. In the name of Jesus, whose blood washes us, saves us, who is risen, risen, every dirty, defeated headaches, headaches and sinuses, migraines, go away. Jesus is commanding, Jesus is commanding life and blessing. He is stretching forth his hand and healing you. Acts 4 verse 30. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Life and life in abundance. John 10, 10. Holy Spirit is bringing the life and life in abundance from Jesus and giving it to us. John 16 verse 14 and 15. Into your blood, into your blood, life into your blood, life into your lungs, into your lungs. Every dirty, defeated ailment in the lungs. 
in the breathing organs, in the throat, in the nasal passages. Go away, go away. Jesus is healing, healing, healing every defeat and ailments. Oh, is is now passing away. Holy Spirit is pushing them away out of your body, your body. Every defeated fear, anxieties, tensions. Holy Spirit is driving it away, and Jesus is giving you the peace, the peace, the joy, the confidence, the faith. Stretch your hands and receive. Stretch your hands and receive. Rise up and receive. Rise up and receive. Stretch your hands and receive. Every defeated ailment in the stomach, in the stomach. Every defeated gastric ailments, intestinal ailments, passing of blood, passing of blood. Every defeated ailment is now going away, going away. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Every defeated sorrow is going away. A new joy, a new hope, a new peace because of Jesus filling your mind, your brain cells, every thought, your nerves, your senses. Holy Spirit, the Creator, Creator, Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Jesus is healing you, delivering you. Stretch your hands and receive every defeated ailment in your hands, in your bones, joints, legs, hips, every defeated ailment in the back, in the spine, in all the defeated symptoms, defeated pains. Holy Spirit is driving it away. Jesus is healing your legs. Holy Spirit is healing and loosening your legs, your feet, your bones, your hips everywhere, your joints. Yes, Holy Spirit, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Every defeated ailment are leaving from every organ of your body. Stretch your hands and receive. Close your eyes and receive. Yes, keep on saying thank you to Jesus. Thank you to Jesus. Thank you to the Father. Every defeated ailment in the wombs, every defeated ailment in your nerves, in your personal organs, Jesus is loosening you. Holy Spirit is loosening you. He loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you. Yes, every defeated angina pains in your heart, every defeated chest pains, every defeated swellings or lungs or tumors or cysts, anywhere Jesus places his one finger and delivers you. Luke 11 verse 20. Fear not, fear not, fear not, fear not, fear not. All things will turn beautiful, beautiful, yes, and good. Romans 8, 28, yes, he is restoring everything, restoring, recreating, hallelujah, recreating everything from Jesus, Jesus, a blessed future, a blessed joy in your home, your family, in your personal life, personal life, in your ministry, business, everywhere. Yes, he makes all things beautiful and blessed. Thank you, Jesus, the creator, our savior, he is healing you, healing you, healing you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Freddy, Freddy, receive, receive. Everything is making new. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's not silver and gold and money. A new joy, a new peace, a new comfort, a new heart, a new spirit. Yes, purity is power. Purity is peace. New peace. Yes, he is blessing the labor of your hands. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. He is blessing the labor of your hands. He is visiting those who are ailing, ailing, given up, given up. Yes, He is visiting them in any country. Holy Spirit is there now. He is listening to all what I am asking in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Every tears are wiped away. Every defeated diseases are washed away by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus. Every defeated tumors, every defeated bronchial diseases, every defeated viral diseases, every defeated funguses are burnt, burnt by the holy fire. Every defeated infections are washed away. Wounds are healed. Wounds are healed. Physical wounds, emotional wounds, griefs are healed. He's holding you like a father. Father holding the child. He's lifting you, lifting you. You will have good sleep from today. Clean dreams, clean, good, holy, holy dreams. Yes, you won't hear noises in your ears. He's healing your ears, your eardrums. Thank you, Lord. He's healing you. He's healing your eyes, your eyes. He's healing your nerves, your senses, your gums. He's healing you everywhere, everywhere. Lift your hands and receive your child, your children. It's flowing. The river of life, river of life is flowing. Ezekiel 47 verse 9, there is healing and life. There's healing and life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. He's healing you, delivering you, giving you life, life in abundance. Receive, 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 receive. Emmanuel, 
Receive Jodi, receive, 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 receive every defeat and fear, every defeat and vain thoughts, vain thoughts are washed away by the blood of Jesus. No more unbelief, no more doubt. Holy Spirit is holding you, filling you with hope and joy. Receive, 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 only believe, only believe, only believe, only believe, only believe. We shall live and live until rapture in abundance, divine protection, divine protection, divine protection, every until rapture and eternal thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you jesus melvin 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 receive 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 thank you jesus thank you thank you thank you kanti kanti receive receive kanti receive 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 oh thank you jesus thank you thank you thank you lord thank you thank you thank you jesus everywhere 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 dixon dixon receive 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 no matter who you are, where you are, what you are, Holy Spirit loves you, Jesus loves you, your Father loves you, receive life, life, life in abundance. Every tear is wiped away, every tear is wiped away, every sorrow and anxieties are gone. Holy Spirit has taken over, Holy Spirit has taken over entire life of yours and ours and our future until rapture and eternal, our families, our generations until rapture and eternal. Oh, the blood of Jesus, oh, the blood of Jesus, Oh, the blood of Jesus is healing your neck, your spine, your head everywhere. Yes, he is delivering you. Yes, he is everywhere, everywhere, every organ, every organ, your immune systems. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, no more defeated viral fevers. It's gone, it's gone. Blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus is driving it away. Don't fear, don't fear. Don't look here and there and hear anything. Only the Lord Jesus and the true, true, true representation of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Keep on saying thank you to Jesus. He loves you. Keep on saying thank you to Jesus. He is filling you with his Holy Spirit, comforting you, comforting you, comforting you, strengthening you with life, life and life in abundance. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Keep on praising, keep on praising, keep on praising, keep on praising. It's happening, it's happening in your home everywhere ministry workplace everywhere he loves you loves you loves you you will leap and walk you will praise and praise and go to church everywhere he loves you loves you loves you, you will be praising everywhere thank you Jesus thank you thank you thank you amen 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 beloved in Christ send your testimonies don't keep your testimonies to yourself. This is a ministry that is full of testimonies. You know it, many of you. Send the testimonies. Yes, he loves you, loves you, loves you. And dear beloved ones, I want you to know, as Peter and John said, inspired by the Holy Spirit, I tell you, it's not, I say nothing unless he tells me. You know it for years and years. This is a ministry that helps the needy and the poor. Widows, destitute, servants of God. We have been doing it for years. Even during these two, three years, in these most difficult times, we still continued. That's the greatness of Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And to let you know, Sri Lankans, yes, how much of help. India, how much of help. Burma, Nepal, Philippines, Africa, how much of help. Europe, how much of help. Pakistan, how much of help. Yes, and this is all for needy people children of God, servants of God, widows, destitutes, orphans. So look at us. This is such a ministry. God bless every ministry, but this is such a ministry. Therefore, let us praise Jesus. Praise Jesus, not just preaching, but doing the word of God. That's what we all need. True representation. We will still do better, more, greater, wiping the tears of mega multitudes. In Jesus' name, for the glory of Jesus until rapture and eternal. We will always pray, send your prayer request. He loves you, loves you, loves you. Dear children, he loves you. See you again, see you again, always until rapture and eternal. Jesus loves you.
Abdullah, she's been attending our service for the fa past four weeks. She says for almost a year, she couldn't raise her left hand completely because of pain. But now she says instantly today the pain has gone, completely healed. She is the blessed daughter. Lift your hands to Jesus. Lift your hands to Jesus.